Hello everybody and welcome once again to this three minutes to vitality. And before we uh, kick off, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody. Uh, last Saturday on December the 1st, we had our Toys for Tots drive and it was a resounding success. Uh, thank you so much for all of our established patients, those of you predominantly who are watching this, um, for actually participating, for being so generous uh, with your toys. We raised hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of toys that will stay here in Hernando County. And just wanted to say thank you all for participating and showing up and I hope you had a great day. <clears throat> so this week I wanted to talk a little bit about, we talk about removing interferences to the body's innate expression. Interferences being things that we don't need that need to go, things that we aren't getting that we need to add. And one of those things we talked about a few weeks ago was we talked about um, gut health and brain and memory. Well, there's a new study that just was published in a journal called Neurology. And they were looking at the consumption of vegetables and fruits, particularly in men, over the course of 30 years. It started in 1986 and uh, just uh, concluded uh, a couple years ago, and they just published the, the findings. Um, and uh, it was about 30,000, just under 30,000 men for 30 years. Uh, they started with surveys every four years. They followed up. They did some testing, et cetera, over the, every four years, did some final testing in the last four years. Um, and what they found was nothing short of remarkable. Um, so we all know when uh, grandma said, eat your vegetables, and mom said, you're not getting up from the plate, uh, from your table until that plate is clear from those, that broccoli or that salad or whatever it was, right? And one of the things that we know now is that that absolutely is true because the people who actually consumed the most vegetable and fruit actually had significantly less cognitive decline. Their memories were significantly better, and not just 10 or 15 or 20 percent. We're talking between 50, 40 and 50 percent uh, preservation of memory over the course of that 30 year period of time. And the gentlemen, when they started, were actually 51 years old and the mean age, of course, when they got done was like 78 years old. So it was a very lengthy, very profound study that showed that the more we consume vegetables and fruits, the better is our cognitive health. And if you remember from a few weeks ago, it was actually a fancy thing called a prebiotic, which is what the uh, bacteria in our colons actually eat. Um, and that, that, that's predominantly fiber. Whether it's soluble or insoluble, it comes predominantly from vegetables and fruits. Um, Flesh-based stuff, whether it's chicken, beef, pork, the fish, doesn't matter. There is no fiber um, in that. So we found out that those that, that produces from the bacteria, that when it gets this prebiotic, it produces this really cool substance. It's a short-chain uh, fatty acid called pyruvate, which actually then helps the brain's cleansing cells to do a much better job and significantly preserves memory. Well, one of the postulates here is that actually uh, vegetable and fruit consumption is one of the ways it works to preserve it. So we know once again that vegetables and fruits are significantly uh, preserve, preserve our memories as well as so many other things. And the big ones, if you're wondering, well, which vegetables and fruits? Well, there, it's all of them, but the biggest correlations were found with dark green leafy vegetables, which we always talk about, even dark green vegetables. So broccoli, uh, particularly the, the leafies, kale, spinach, bok choy, now, all of that kind of stuff, romaine, etc. Um, then dark berries, any dark berry, raspberry, blueberry, boysenberry, strawberry, cherry, uh, add the dark berries, and then red and yellow vegetables um, were the significant ones. And remarkably, even orange juice. Those were the big four correlations that we saw with memory preservation in this. So again, with this, the conclusion with all this, eat up, but eat your vegetables and fruits. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.